Hey, welcome to Fab Race Mod Repeat. Hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about the unsung heroes of the shop once again. And one of those would be the engine crane, the engine hoist, the lift, the cherry picker. In short, the lifter of heavy things, the small portable crane. I get a lot of questions about, should I buy it? Should I rent it? Is it a tool worth having? Is it a tool that you should just have when you actually need to pull an engine? Well, the answer to all that is yes and no and depends on the person, like most things when it comes to a tool. As I always say, think outside of the box and try to apply the tool or the skill to a different situation. Because let's face it, a lifter of heavy things is what it is. It is a stable base with a hydraulic capability, hydraulic power, whichever way you want to put it, to lift up to a ton and a half within the limits of its legs and its reach. You can, if you had a hobby farm, you can pick up equipment that your tractor can't lift high enough that you need to work on. As long as you lift it up and then pro properly support it, you can roll up under there and do what you need to do, lift it back down. You can load stuff in and out of your truck with it. If you've got shop equipment that's a little heavy or heavier than you're comfortable moving by yourself or with a couple of people helping, then you can always tackle it up and pick it up with your cherry picker or your engine hoist. Again, lots of names for it. They do take up about a two foot by three foot footprint if you get a foldable one. I would go with a foldable one. I've had fixed ones in the past. I have a folding, well, I actually have two folding ones now. I have one that I use for dirty work outside, you know, taking it into woods, extracting things, barn finds, that sort of stuff. And then I got a good one that I picked up later that I keep inside all the Biggest time. Biggest maintenance on them is just keeping them painted if they start to rust. And as you can see, I need to paint this one. Replace the caster wheels occasionally. And don't let it, the hydraulic ram sit in the rain. If you have to leave your engine lift set outside, take the hydraulic ram off and put it in a shed or the back room of the house or under your couch or the bottom of your toolbox or whatever you need to do with it to keep it out of the weather. Because what you don't want is that ram getting rust on it. Because just like with a little bottle jack, as soon as it gets a little rust on it, that seal can pop and it starts leaking. And with this, it's really a safety issue. Even with the jack, it's a serious safety issue. But with this lift, it's a very serious issue because you've got a very high, heavy item lifted five, six foot in the air. And if that ram decides to let go, it's coming down. And it's coming down in a hurry. So just something to think about. Uh, the other thing about them is, like, if you've ever watched anybody pull an engine out of a car, a lot of times you'll see people pick the engine up and then roll the vehicle back and then let the engine down. That's to get the center of gravity down on a crane so it's not as tippy when they're moving it because they do tend to like to tip left, right. They're okay lengthwise. It's just left, right. And if you try to pick up something too heavy for it with the boom way out, all you do is pick the back up off the ground. And of course, then everybody wants to put weight on it and all that. Don't do that. Stay within the limits of it. It cuts down on the risk of you getting hurt. And these things are dangerous and can hurt you bad or even kill you if you're not careful. Should you rent so, it or should you buy it? If you're a homeowner, property owner, hobbyist, go on and buy it. They're usually between $200 and $250, depending on which one you get and where you get it. And it's an investment that's going to last you quite some time. It's kind of a buy it once and you've got it long as you take care of it like any other tool. So, that's my thoughts on it. Hope you found this video interesting, entertaining, and informational. If you like it, please subscribe, comment, or share. As always, think outside your box. Learn a new skill. Practice the skills you already have. Either way, turn it into craftsmanship. You never know how far it'll take you. So until next time, this has been Fab Race Mod Repeat. Have a great day.